Hey, Mike and Kathy, uh, thanks for greeting us on board. I got to tell you, this is its quite an experience. Um, I, I can't even begin to describe how fun it's been to be in Dragon for the last day and a half or so watching um, these guys' faces light up. True story, you know, we had just reached uh, orbit and getting out of our suits, and I was, you know, busy at uh, doing commander stuff, and one by one I could hear them say, expletive deleted as soon as they looked out the window literally every single one of them and i just smiled a little bit and then when i got my turn to look at it same expletive it's just an amazing experience anyway um you know there's a tradition that when you cross a certain boundary and that boundary is debatable but in the united states it's 50 miles uh you become an astronaut in altitude and uh, that happened to these three gentlemen for the first time yesterday. Um, it was a pretty exciting moment. We were in the middle of first stage, but we noted it. And now I'd like to note it a little more officially. Um, there is a very special pin that NASA astronauts wear that is gold and designed by the original Mercury 7. But um, until recently, there has been no internationally recognized pin. So. None of the other five, or I should say other four space agencies, nor do the Chinese that I know of have a symbol that people wear in civilian clothes for, um, for commemorating that they're astronauts. So a little while ago, the Association of Space Explorers, which encompasses a lot of members from 38 different countries of flown astronauts, uh, decided to commission such a pin. And I happen to have three of them in my hand. Tom, would you break them out for me? And uh, when I pin these on, I think the numbers will be 582, 583, and 584, respectively, for uh, Larry, Aton, and Mark. I hope they will wear these with the pride that they deserve. And then I'm going to let Larry say something while I pin his, et cetera. Yeah, well, first off, uh, probably words don't describe it. I mean, I'm thrilled and honored to be up here. Thanks to SpaceX, phenomenal ride. I mean, no pun intended, but out of this world. Thanks to uh, Axiom for making this uh, dream come true. Thanks to NASA. Thanks to all the crew. Unbelievably uh, welcome. And, yeah, we're here to experience this. But we understand there's a responsibility, and the responsibility is for this first civilian crew to get it right. And that's what we're fully committed to with the support of everybody here at the ISS and, uh, and on the ground. So it's going to be a busy week of research for us, and uh, I'm sure it's going to fly by. And now I'd like to turn it over to my friend, Aton. I'll take the opportunity. I need to press something. I think it's to say a few words in Hebrew on the International Space Station. Buchim abayim le tachanat achalal aben lomit pa'am rishona sheefshar le daber po beivrit. Zachinu liot chelak mitzvet shel echad esre shenikra Expedition 67. זה, זה קבוצת עבודה שתעבוד ביחד, כולנו ביחד נעזור אחד לשני להשיג את המטרות, כל אחד בא עם תוכנית עבודה מלאה, ובהצלחה לכולם, בהצלחה לרקיע. מרק. making your way to us and then to come on board and, and be so, uh, so warmly greeted by all of you. That was great. Thanks a lot. And looking forward to spending the next uh, few days. Sorry, I, I got to forget to, to look, look up there. Um, next few days here with all of you. And uh, wow, it's just amazing to be here. Um, it's, it's hard to find, find the words, but uh, it's been an amazing journey. And I don't, I'm not just talking about the last 24 hours. I'm talking about uh, everything that's got us here. It's, it's been it's been amazing, and thanks to to uh, Mike and all the folks at Axiom uh, for uh, for hatching this plan and, and getting it going, and and to SpaceX and NASA for uh, for making it happen as well. Thanks everyone, and and, and sorry last but definitely not least, uh, all my family and friends who uh, whose love and support made this possible. Thanks for 
And we just want so. to say the uh, Expedition 67 crew, all of us are incredibly thrilled and excited to welcome Maxim on board. And uh, on this historic uh, day for uh, continued, we expect long-term uh, cooperation with uh, NASA, with our international partners, and with private companies and private astronauts. So we're ready to go to work.